Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to um, edit the DIY templates for the credit card style business cards. It's super easy to do. I'm going to be using the app uh, PixArt to do it, but you can use any program where you're able to add text to an image. So you can use Canva, you can use Word, you can use PicMonkey, you can use uh, Microsoft Publisher, whatever you're comfortable with, because all you're doing is opening up the photo and adding your own text. So it's really easy to do. Um, but if you're using PixArt, this is how you do it. It's um, an, a free app. It's up at the top of my screen. You can see it's like a purple and yellow uh, or purple and blue app. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. It has a little news feed on the front page. You're just going to go down to the bottom and click on the plus sign. And then you're going to scroll down to where in the middle where it says drawings and then you're going to click on the third icon over that says pick canvas. And then all the way on the right you're going to click on the custom canvas. And I already have the pixel set um, at the right size because I do this all the time but it if it's a different size, you're going to want to type in 1050 and 600 for the height. So 1050 width and 600 height, which that's the appropriate pixel size for a business card. And then click OK. Click the upper right hand arrow. Click the upper right hand arrow again. Click on Edit Image. Down at the bottom, there's options. You're going to scroll with your finger and click on Add Photo. And then you're just going to go to your camera roll wherever you have the template saved to your phone and you're going to go ahead and open up the one that you want to use. So I'll just go ahead and use this one. This is the front of the business card and you're just going to drag it so that it fits with your finger till it fills up the, all the white space. And as you can see, all the artwork is already in place for you. All you have to do is add your custom wording, like your business name at the top. And if you want to put a tagline or, or a website or something down at the bottom, you can do that as well. So click on text on the bottom. And I'm just going to say wigs by K. I'm going to keep this font because I think it's pretty, but you can use any font that you want and you can size it up or down with your finger. Oh, that says wings, not wigs. <laughs> Let me fix that. I think that's autocorrect. Okay, now it says wigs by K. Okay, and you're just gonna, you can center it with your finger. You can put it down here if you want. I think it takes up better space right here towards the top. And then you can size the font up and down. And then if you want to put down in the left hand corner where there's space there, if you want to put a tagline for your business, um, um, or a website or something along those lines you can so I'm just gonna hit text again at the bottom and I'm just gonna type something really quick just to give you an example so let's just say um, I'll just say beauty salon and more okay and I'm gonna use a different font for that I'm probably gonna use this one and I'm going to again size it with my finger, move it down to this area, and I'm just going to move it around until it looks the way that I want it to look. And then once you have the front, you can add whatever you want. Once you have the front looking the way you want to look, you're going to click the check mark in the upper right hand corner. You're going to click the arrow in the upper right hand. And then you're going to click save on the very bottom, save again, and then you'll save it to your gallery and it'll be there again in your camera roll on your phone. You can also do this on a computer if you want to do that as well, but it's most people usually do it from their phone. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And then we're going to do the back. So I'm going to click the plus sign at the bottom again from the home screen. I'm going to go down to where it says pick canvas. I'm going to use the one all the way on the right and it's already set at 1050 by 600. So I'm going to click the arrow, click right hand, upper right hand arrow again, click edit image. And now I'm going to go down to the bottom, scroll over with my finger and I'm going to find the back of that business card. When you get this uh, template downloaded, you get a front and a back. Um, so the back of it is going to be right here and then you're going to click add. And I'm going to stretch it out until it fills up all the white space. 
like that. And that white line is supposed to resemble like a signature line on the back of a credit card. And then you have your social media icons there already in place for you. So all you have to do is, let's just say you're adding your, your pretend signature on the back so it looks more realistic. And I'm going to change the color down at the bottom to black. this and then I'm going to put title I'm just going to put CEO you don't have to do this but a lot of people do this on these cards so I'm going to just mimic what a lot of people are already doing change the font color to black and just play with the sizing with your finger sizing it up and down until it looks the way you want it to look and then I'm going to type in a phone number right beneath there so I'm going to type in um, just using a fake number, but I also want, what I also want to do is I'm going to hit a space and then I'm going to put this, um, line bracket separator thingy on my, for my keypad and I'm going to type a phone number and an email. So let's just say wigs by K at gmail.com hit the check mark stretch it out with your finger until it looks the way that you want it to look I'm gonna come over here because I think there's a different font that I want to use it's still very classic but it's a little bit more bold so there it is and you just move it around stretch it out and play with it until it looks the way you want it to look and then because I'm using this font and I'm going to use it again, I'm going to click the two little squares at the very top of my screen and I'm going to click duplicate and it's going to duplicate that text and I'm just going to slide it down here with my finger and this is where I'm going to add social media info. So I'll put Facebook, Wigs by K, and then I'll put IG. wigs by K. You can add Snapchat or whatever else you want to put here. And then I'm just going to size it down again with my finger. You could also stretch it out. There's, um, if you see the font here, if you want to stretch it out with your finger. Oh, it won't let me do it, but usually it will let you stretch it out so that it's all on one line. You might have to reformat it the way that I typed it because I hit enter. Um, but if you just type it all as one line, it, you, you can um, have Facebook and Instagram on one line if you needed an extra line for something else. And then you can play with the color, like if you like um, the font in black better, you can do that. I think it looks good in white, so I'm going to leave it white. And then um, if you wanted to put any other information on here, you could. If you wanted to put something at the top, like I'll duplicate this here. And again, I'll just type the name of the business to fill up that space. So you can really customize it how you feel you like it. And you can make changes if you don't like it later. If you need to change your contact information or what have you, you can always change these templates because once you download them, they're yours forever to use. So um, that's it. So I'm going to just leave it like that. And that's just a quick example of how, how easy it is to just add text to these. They're already sized for you. The artwork's already in place. You're literally just adding your own text to it. And then once you have it saved, you can have these printed anywhere like Vistaprint or at any um, print place that will print business cards or print them from home if you want to as well. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or reach out to me on social media. Talk to you later. Bye.